By the start of the 1980s, increased use of containers and shipping made some of the older riverfront wharves here in New Orleans less useful. So the Poija Street Wharf and the Julia Street Wharf were demolished, and the land here was used as part of the 1984 World's Fair. After the fair, this section was redeveloped into the Riverwalk. It's an upscale mall intended to attract both tourists and locals alike. The MV Brightfield was a bulk cargo ship that collided with the Riverwalk on the afternoon of Saturday, December 14, 1996, after losing engine power. The vessel was also fully loaded with grain at the time of the incident. The United States Coast Guard investigated and cited the cause of the engine failure as a poorly maintained oil filter. A secondary but contributory cause was determined to be a main engine automation system that produced warnings and alarms that were just really not consistently related to the ship's master. The National Transportation Safety Board published its final report on January 13, 1998, which concurred with the Coast Guard's determinations and it appears to charge the ship's operating system with the responsibility for the casualty. The incident resulted in no deaths, but 66 people were injured. Physical damage to the Brightfield was calculated at 1.8 million. Damage to the Riverwalk, including the pier, these condominium properties, shops, and the hotel totaled an estimated $15 million. After this, the Brightfield was repaired immediately following the incident. And in 2000, it was reportedly seen again in New Orleans Harbor, but this time it was bearing the name of Bright Star. In 2007, the vessel was renamed Bright City, operating under the Liberian flag and carried a Chinese crew. As of May 2010, it's been renamed Yongzhu Hai under the Chinese flag. Now the maritime records show that the ship has since been decommissioned and scrapped. The spot where the Brightfield ran into the Riverwalk is marked right here on site with a plaque. The Riverwalk closed for a few months after Hurricane Katrina due to extensive wind and looting damage. It reopened in early December of 2005 in the hopes that Christmas shopping would just kind of jumpstart the area's recovery. Only a small number of shops were able to open at first, and additional businesses would slowly open over the next several years, eventually bringing the mall back to near 100% occupancy. Now, there was since a large renovation done, and it is now the Shops at the Riverwalk. Shop at the Riverwalk on your next trip to New Orleans and learn more about Louisiana culture, history, and folklore by following us. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread.